What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new trekking vlog. Before we get into this video, I just want to wish you guys a happy Easter. Today's video, I take him on his very first ever trucking adventure. We go on his very first delivery. We play with toys. Um, and we have some good food. <laughs> <laughs> so sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Vamos! <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. Today, I got a special little guest with me for the very, very first time. I got my youngest son with me, Shia. And today we're gonna be taking him on his very first ever trucking adventure. We got some pickups, we got some food we're gonna eat. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and let's start this video. Let up! Look, you ready? <laughs> okay, we got a little stormtrooper right here and he protects us all the time. Are you excited to go on your first ever trucking adventure? On three, we're gonna say vamonos, okay? One, two, three, vamonos! <laughs> Alright guys, we just pulled up to the yard right now. I gotta take out my uncle's truck and connect them to the trailer. You ready? Alright, let's get to it. Let's go. I need to turn this on. You're gonna wait right here while I go turn the truck on, okay? Looking for his dang key. Oh, right there. See, this is what I mean sometimes, guys, when I tell you guys I do the seatbelt trick. Grab your seatbelt and loop it in through here, then connect it, then pull it to tighten it, lock the door. Now, if anyone tries to open the door, no one can. This is a Kenworth truck key. To open up a Peterbilt sometimes. Not every key is like that. I'm sure more most of the new trucks aren't like that anymore. Um, but a lot of the times, any truck key sometimes can open a door. Oh, battery's dead. Now I'm gonna move my truck. My battery box is on this side, so I'm just gonna flip it real quick just to make it easier. We gotta turn on the truck, Papa. It's dead. It doesn't wanna turn on. I don't know. Let this baby charge up for a little bit. Oh. All right, let's see if this thing works now. Ooh, I don't think so. Okay, got some sparks there. All right, I got my trailer bag, baby. Oh wait, I'm a dummy. I'm not taking my trailer. I'm over here charging his, his truck for no reason. The other trailer next to it is empty. Man, this thing is sitting up high. So when something like this happens, I gotta do is just lower the legs a little bit and it'll end up uh, sitting down flush. The mistake I made one time was I didn't do that and I slid, the pin just went and then my truck went bam and hit the back of the trailer. There you go. See, now it's flush. There's no spaces. We did our tug test, it clinked, now we're ready to go.
sticky. Good thing I got some wipes. Today's video is sponsored by wipes. My favorite thing about these wipes is that they're literally fragrance free. They have vitamin E and aloe. So no more rashes, especially us as truck drivers. We sit down a lot, we drive a lot. And sometimes man, at the end of the day, just got that rash. It doesn't help when you get down to the truck stop and have to use rugged one ply toilet paper. It just makes the rash even worse. And then you get those wipes that have fragrance and all that other stuff and it makes the rash that much worse. Wipes? You don't gotta worry about that. No fragrance, it has aloe vera. They're good for a good wipe down so you don't feel all sticky. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in the truck for a long time, I just feel sticky. And I've noticed that these help me out a lot with that. They're super affordable. If you get water wipes at Walmart, you know, those things are really, 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 really expensive. These are a lot less cost efficient, so you don't gotta worry about spending big bucks on these things. And they still get the job done. If you're interested in these bad boys, hit the link down in my description and go get you some. Now, let's get back to the trucking vlog. Love it Right here. What's that? Papa, you want some churros? Yeah? Those churros, primo? A tres dollars? Man, I don't have change. No accepta pesos? Pesos? <laughs> All I have is pesos in my wallet. I don't think I have any money in here. Oh. Any? I don't have any change. Pensé que tenía cambio. No tengo cambio. No tengo nada de dinero. Pensé que tenía dinero, pero no tengo nada. Disculpe. Ya para otra. Ya para otra. Man, I just wasted that guy's time. You guys gotta watch out for this though. Oh, look, it's already full. It's probably gonna start looking right. Oh. Oh. This is not to, I just do it because I don't know. I just say that the next like, two miles to, to drive. Hi, buddy. All right, guys, now we get to driving. I got three or four pickups. Probably gonna end up having like 10 pallets, and then the box truck is gonna pick up the rest. I don't know how this kid's gonna do in here because he's already getting impatient. <laughs> the only thing is that only two of those four pickups are ready. They're kind of scattered around too, so we're gonna figure out which one to go to first. What, what are you looking at, Baba? Back there? There, that's the trailer. That's where we put all the pallets in. Why? Because that's where you get the fruit. What? Oranges and all that stuff. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do for this little guy's trucking adventure is take him to his very first ever pickup. We're pulling up to our very first pickup right here. That's where we get all the oranges, the strawberries, grapes, all that stuff. Are you ready to see in there? Yeah. I have it recorded so one day he can look back and be like, dang, that was that tiny going with you in the truck. And that's why I do all this, man. I, I do it because uh, this is all a memory essentially at the end of the day this is something that we can look back at and just you know cherish these moments Whew, that was perfect you don't copy me no you don't copy me <laughs> Let's go, buddy. You ready to go check in? Okay. I gotta get you off. Come this way. Oh. In there? And right there we check in and we tell them, hey, we're here to pick up our fruit. 
Okay, maybe they'll give you a free orange. Let's see. <laughs> okay, sounds good. It's not ready right now? Oh, okay. Sounds good. I'm gonna go do my other pickups then. And I'll be back. All right, sounds good. All right, buddy. So they said that one wasn't ready. That happens. That means we gotta drive to another spot, okay? So now we gotta get back in the truck and go to another location, okay? <laughs> Look at that truck. Oh, you see that? That is nice. We gotta sit back in the car seat because we're gonna keep driving, okay? Uh-oh. You want some snacks, Papa? We got some, I got some gummies. Please. Here you go. Don't eat too many, okay? Two of them. Yeah. Cheers. Wow. That is delicious, huh? I brought his diapers, some little toys, some wipies. Is this little boy still in his diapers? You can get potty trained soon, boy. By your birthday, because I'm done changing booties. And then for myself, oh! Damn it, I did not know they were open. I got myself some pumpkin seeds. These are freaking delicious, man. I'd rather do these than, than actual like sunflower seeds. All right, guys, so we're pulling up to the other location that we had to drive to since the other one wasn't ready. But they actually just called us right now and said that, that it's ready. So literally like 10 minutes after I left, it was ready. I just didn't want to have to wait because he said that he didn't know how long it was going to take. And when they say that, it can take an hour, two hours, three hours, or 10 minutes like right now. <laughs> <laughs> my kids were sick all last week and now I feel like it's catching up to me. My throat's a bit like dry and it kind of hurts. If you have kids, expect to get sick anytime they're sick. Hey, look at our location is right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Right, guys we're backing into the door now finally um it was actually pretty quick i came here and they looked to see if they had any doors open they said take door four dude was just staring into my soul we're gonna chill in the back probably watch some tv what do you want to watch bluey watch some tv back here and relax This kid just, this kid stays eating all day, man. He's been asking for snacks and snacks and snacks, huh? You want a snack? <laughs> Do you have poop? Are you lying to me? I'll be right back, guys. I gotta, I gotta change some damn diapers. If you're a kid watching this, don't, don't have kids unless you're trying to do this. The truck is shaking. That means that we're getting loaded. Should we steal an orange from the back? Yeah. <laughs> what car like it? Vroom. Oh. You got good taste, boy. That's a really cool grave digger. Mm, that's Monster Jam? That's the name. But what's your favorite truck? Grave digger, Toro Loco. Yeah. Toro Loco? Yeah. You should have brought him. Right. You brought grave digger instead. Yeah. Oh. Man. I love bringing my kids on with me. And just recording the memories because this is stuff like I said that we're all gonna look back at one day and just watch them they're gonna be on YouTube and as long as YouTube is up we'll have countless memories man a snack bro we don't got no snacks in here should have brought some snacks for you huh we'll get some McDonald's right now our first pickup was a huge success so successful that my little co-pilot fell asleep actually on our way to pick up another order just got a call right now saying that one of the orders got canceled like now what? Now I'm gonna go up with less pallets? So you guys don't know, I actually get paid by by pallet. So 
however many pallets in my truck is my uncle pays a certain amount and we have up to 24 pallets to put in the trailer but typically we go up with 24 pallets the less pallets i have in my truck the less money i'm making baby and that's not good that is not good How's it looking back here? Oh man, it is packed, boys. All right, let's go check in and then see what they say. Hey guys, my little man's still asleep right now, but the second portion of his trucking adventure is to get us some food. Oh, looks like he's waking up. And he's out again. Ford asked us some food. Um, I was gonna stop, but this place said that it's gonna be at least another hour. And I don't wanna have to drive back 20 minutes back to the yard, get there for like 10 minutes, and then just drive straight back. It doesn't make any sense. So while we sit put here, our DoorDash is gonna get here, and I got him his favorite. All right, buddy, you ready to eat? We got you McDonald's. I got you a little Happy Meal. Back real quick. Put on some TV. Papa, these are spicy. <gasps> I didn't even realize they were spicy, guys. Woo! Woo. I'm full. You're full. You're full too? You ready to start driving again? Yeah, you want to go eat up there while that drives? Since you still have a lot of food left? Yeah? That is your booty. Mission number two was a success. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to the last pickup of the day. It's a little baby partial pallet, and they're gonna throw it on the edge of my trailer, I believe. Hola, buenas tardes. Es, sí, el del fruit, guys. Okay. El de, mi, ese era mi papá. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Five, eight, six, seven. I had to keep repeating that order number or else I forget it. <laughs> Alright, cool. They were able to load me up. That's a cool thing. If you get along with these people and you're nice to them, um, they'll hook you up sometimes. If you come in here like a badass and try to, you know, demanding stuff, most likely it's not gonna go your way. Oh yeah, boys. <laughs> Looks like that's my palette. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Got the paper. I can go back to the yard, fix this load up, and head up to the bay. Another crazy fun fact about these doors, when it's windy like this, uh, you gotta be really careful because they'll just slam open. And I've seen people get knocked out with them. Not like in person, but in video. And it's crazy, man. Those doors are heavy. You don't want to get hit by one of those doors. All right, buddy. We just picked up our last pallet, and now we can go back to the yard. Oh yeah. It's packed in here, bro. Woo! Cutting it close. Yeah. I've been in tighter situations. Yeah? Did you have fun today? What was your favorite part? The food? <laughs> I bet. Alright, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed our his very first ever trucking adventure did you have fun papa yeah we ate some food we took some rides we watched some tv in the back played some games enjoyed it buddy because there's gonna be plenty of more where this came from Let me kiss you. now he's gonna get dropped off to his mama and i'm gonna get back on the road um i'm gonna miss you fool i'm gonna miss you i'll see you later though bam if you guys watched all the way to the end, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys all the time. See you guys back again on Thursday for a brand new Chucky vlog. Vamos! Vamos! <laughs>